Hey guys, it's me, it's KC, and welcome back to the Beauty and the Beast major event in Disney Magic Kingdoms. We've got one more character to go before we officially wrap this up, and it is going to be the villainous, great Gaston. Before we do though, we have to tap this thing. Let's see if we can get some gems out of this. Of course I didn't, but I got a boot. We have that. I don't want to do that right now. No, thank you. That's actually pretty new. Very good way of getting a little bit of extra happiness as well, so. With that done, let's just jump in this. Let's waste no more time. Welcome, Gaston. Ready to go. I have to admit, I actually got a lot of good drops. Like, just over and over. It was just, it was weird. Everybody had a quest and they were dropping them, so that's why I got it so early. Ah, oh, look at them all strutting along, thinking he's so awesome. Well, guess what? You are. Insulted. Dismissed. Trampled upon by... by a freak of nature in his furniture collection. Why, if I weren't so strong, handsome, and universally admired, this would be almost discouraging. I've completed the Beauty and the Beast collection for this list. I've got 20 gems. It is a good thing for everyone that I'm so amazing. You are amazing. You're so amazing. He's not that amazing. There he is. Hey man, you're still strutting along with his chest all puffed out. Hi. Talking clocks, walking candlesticks. Ha! The people here wouldn't know a real hero if it beat them up in a push-up contest. Well, today is their lucky day. And mine too. I'm about to get even more popular than before. Send Gaston to show himself off. Before we do though, we're going to see some of his other quests. So, show myself off. Admire me. Look horrified. That will require the Be Our Guest Restaurant, which is a premium item. Stock the Beast. Demand and... Uh, demand attention, sorry. Talk about myself. St uh, sing about myself, I was going to say sting. Plots afoot. Woo Bell. That's probably not going to go very well. Showing off. And finally, Flex Pex. Nothing with his biceps, huh? He seems to be doing that a lot in his animations. Take it to the gun show, whatever the hell that's supposed to be called. But before we do show myself off, I just want to see... What is required to upgrade him now? Yeah, so obviously the drops are significantly lower than actually having to recruit him at first, but you still need six of the roses, two of these, and nothing has changed at all. It's the same characters, and then two of the Gaston ear hats, and 1,000 of the currency. Show myself off. Why are we just doing that? But now he does it permanently for 60 minutes. Oh my god, he's doing push-ups. That's new. I only do a couple? I can beat you on that. Who, who are you talking to? The lampposts? The flowers? They're not impressed and I'm not impressed. Next up! It is... The Cake Building. Now originally this I think was only available during one of the leaderboard things. So if you ranked in the top 30 I believe. You got this for free. But what they did is once the leaderboard ended. Then it actually popped up in the chest. So it wasn't like an exclusive thing or whatever, but I guess in a way you were able to get an extra one, I suppose, if that makes any sense at all, but I have not put them down yet. And I want to do that for you guys, so let's do that. Kids not impressed either, by the way, I haven't forgotten. Let's go to the top over here. Right there. Right here, I guess. And building. Uh, concession. Uh, the bakery, that's what it is. Okay. So. One. Two. Oh, they also dropped the, uh, the currency as well every two hours. So that's actually pretty good. The currency is very, very important, by the way, even if you were done the update or the event, because... Normally what this company does, the developer, is 
However remaining amount of currency you have left, it will be converted to gems. So just try to continue to get the currency. You know, you'll get more gems in the end with the conversion. So I don't know how much you're going to get out of it. That is it for the Beauty and the Beast event. It was so much fun. I think this is my favorite event to date. The Incredibles was really, really fun as well. But the whole thing with this is that it was much more easier, I think. Because some of the other previous major events, the, the final character, was pretty difficult to obtain for a lot of people. I mean, I still have two and a half days to go, and um, this character's been sitting ready to go for at least half a day already. So basically three days. But I guess before we do actually wrap it up, I have to ask this. What is your favorite Beauty and the Beast character that was put into this game? Which one was your favorite? By the way, I did see the new Beauty and the Beast movie. It was... Uh, not so good. I will admit, me personally, it was pretty average. I mean, I think out of a score out of 10, 6 out of 10. So, I mean, it was still, I guess, average. It wasn't bad by any means, but I guess I expected something a little bit better. Some of the singing, for me personally, it just didn't give me that emotional punch. It didn't really draw me in as much as, like, the original movie. So, that was kind of a bummer because I was waiting for some of the classic scenes. And then when the singing hit, it just kind of wasn't there. But that's just my opinion, of course. It, it's very hard to duplicate a movie, especially a, a classic one. So let me know what you guys thought of the movie as well, if you've seen it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. My name is KZ, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.